Hello, in this tutorial we're going to make some basic timeline controls including a twin one play pause button in ActionScript 3. Start off by making a new ActionScript 3 document and this is going to just be a quick mock-up for what an animation will look like. Dude, properties, dude. Make sure all your movie clips uh, have an instance name in your movie that you want to pause using the play pause button and we'll just make a really quick animation doesn't have to be anything snazzy F5 okay so here's our animation it's going to be the little guy walking along next we're going to make a new layer called buttons we'll name our first layer contents and make another layer on top of all of that called AS3 that's going to be our action, action script in your buttons layer, we'll start off, we'll make a new circle, color that in white, select everything and press F8 or go modify, convert to symbol, call it go and make it a button. It's important, uh, before I do that, we'll also need to instance it, go. It's important not to name your symbols start or stop because that can interfere with the action scripts. Uh, at the moment I'm just going to make really basic play button. Going to change colors on mouse over and mouse down. And we'll make a new layer for the play symbol or if you're going to have text for the text we'll just make a little triangle in here. That's going to be the play button. Alright so here we have our play button on our action script layer. Um, if we test it now, you'll see the movie starts playing. We have no control over the timeline, no matter what we do. Uh, first off, we'll start off by stopping everything, stopping the ti main timeline, and dude, stop. That'll stop the movie clip playing as well, so he won't be shaking to and from. Uh, but the button isn't working, so to do that, we got to add an event listener. Type in go, add event listener, mouse events, click start playing semicolon write up a function start playing events mouse events you can uh, abbreviate that to just E if you like and void will tell us uh, we don't want any values coming out of this function and when we click it we want it to play so here we go play yeah, the play button's working, but the movie clip isn't, so i just got to add in dude play. And everything is fantastical. Okay, next we're going to get this button. We're going to drag it and hold Alt or Option, and that'll make it copy, but this isn't the same. This is actually the same symbol, so to make this one unique, we've got to duplicate it. We'll call it Halt, and also Instances. Halt, double click it, and we'll change that first triangle to two rectangles. You can spend more time making it pretty if you like. And in our action script, we're going to copy that last event listener and paste it. Name, instead of go, we'll name it Halt to reference the Halt button. It's going to stop playing stop playing stop dude stop okay so now we have two working start and pause buttons but they're not the same thing we're going to merge them a bit later on uh, before we do that we're just going to make another symbol we'll duplicate this and call it GTS for go to start it's also important you instance it GTS and I just make a new symbol. And so I'll copy this across again, holding Alt and dragging, then releasing. We'll call, duplicate it again. GTE for go to end, GTE. Copy this, come in here, swap it around. And here we have our four buttons. For our action scripts, uh, we're going to copy this again GTS go to start 
GTSS GTSS it doesn't matter what you name them as long as they're the same and instead of stop we're going to have it go to and stop frame 1 or frame 2 if you have a preloader copy it again for the next button and we'll scroll along to see how many time frames are in your animation we've got 71 so GTE GTEE GTEE go to and stop frame 71 and dude will be stopped in both of those cases so now I'll just um, quickly save that and test it play pause go to end go to start and hooray everything's working okay and now we well, now we're going to merge the play and pause button so we'll select the first the play button press f8 and call it pp make it a movie clip delete the pause button and give it an instance of pp now we'll double click and come in here press f6 and swap the symbol swap symbol to halt also you need to instance it again halt come out and in our action script on the main timeline we're going to just cut these two first event listeners out then come back into our pp movie clip we'll add a new layer as3 we'll paste the go event listener on the play button make a new keyframe and the halt event listener on the pause button now there are two things we need to change here because we're inside a movie clip now it's not going to be the same code so we can just easily fix that by movie clip root dot by prepending that to our play commands and stop commands it'll make the whole thing work you can also make it uh, using boolean oh we forgot to stop it using booleans and more action scripts I don't like that I couldn't get it working when I tried just need to stop it here no one knows it starts and it's working but it's not going to the next frame so that's easily fixed we just go to and stop frame 2 copy that and in our pause button go to and stop frame 1 so now it's going to switch every time it gets clicked play pause play pause go to end go to start all the um, file samples will be available on my website link in the description I hope you learnt something and good happy tweening Happy movie clip thingy. I hate action script three. Lol. Lol 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 lol.